This here is an all white themed gaming PC that I'm gonna build for around 670 Canadian dollars that will crush games in 1080p as well as 1440p. And depending on how it looks, I'm gonna try to sell this for around 850 to 900 Canadian dollars in my local used market. So without further delay, let's cue the intro and get to the third episode of Flipping Wednesday. The following video is sponsored by me. So head down and click on the link in the description if you wanna buy a gaming PC for cheap only applies if you live in Canada, BC. Now, let's get into the video. Hey, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to the most underrated tech channel. Sorry it took so long for this episode of Flipping Wednesdays to come out. It's because the system took a little bit longer than expected to sell. But with that said, let's get into the parts. For the processor, I went with the 6 cores, 12 to the Ryzen 5 3600X CPU off Facebook Marketplace for just 80 cat bucks. For those of you that don't know, this CPU is actually still more than capable for most mid-range GPUs out there in 2024 with minimal bottlenecks. Unlike what the other YouTubers do, in order to keep the CPU cooled, I went with a brand new Cool Moon AS600 white ARGB 60 pipe tower cooler for just 25 Canadian dollars from Amazon. Not only does the CPU cooler look super clean, it should also be more than enough to cool a Ryzen 7 5800X 3D. Then for the motherboard, because I wanted to take advantage of the Gen 4 speeds that the 3600X supports, I chose to go with a brand new Onda B550 SD4-W motherboard for exactly 100 cats shipped to my doors from AliExpress. It's got a decent VRM heatsink, 4 RAM slots for up to 128GB of DDR4 memory, and a simple to use BIOS with XMP settings and PBO. Plus, it's fully white. So this definitely gets a strong recommendation from me. But because the motherboard does not have onboard Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, I added this $15 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth PCIe Wi-Fi card, which for all my builds, I always add some sort of Wi-Fi and Bluetooth adapter just so the customer won't ask me why they can't connect to the internet. Moving on to the RAM, this is just a brand new kit of Juho 2x8GB DDR4 clocked at 3200MHz from AliExpress for 36 Canadian rupees. And I'm only using this because it's what I have in my inventory, but if you want to repeat this build, just go with whatever 3000 to 3600 speed white kit that's the cheapest you could find. Up next is the storage, and I went with a new 1TB Kingston MV2 Gen 4 M.2 NVMe SSD drive. And the only reason I picked this drive is because it's the cheapest you could find in Canada, which is $78 after tax from Best Buy. But just go with whatever is the cheapest you could find just like the RAM. Also, I added a $5 heatsink on top to help cool the Gen 4 SSD. Now it's time for the graphic card though. I was able to snipe this quote unquote brand new Melissi all white RTX 2060 Super 8GB GPU with unfortunately fixed RGB fans built in for just 170 cat bucks shipped to my doors off AliExpress. And that was possible during one of those random ass sales, I don't even know. So if you can't wait for one of those random ass sales, you could grab a used RTX 2060 non super card for around $150 to $200 on the used market or an RX 5700 XT for for around the same price. Although I highly do not recommend an RX 5700 XT unless you know for sure the car was only used for gaming. And to power this entire build, I decided to use a brand new Deepcool 600W 80 plus bronze unit from Canada Computers for $61 after tax. It's a great quality non-modular power supply that I was able to get for a cheap price around my area. For you though, if you want to copy a build like this, something like a 500 to 550 watt that's reputable in your local area will be more than enough to power something like this. On top of the power supply, I also added a fully white custom cable extension kit from AliExpress to the build in order to get that fully white themed gaming PC look, which adds 25 bucks to the final total. Also, I added a sheet of carbon fiber vinyl wrap on the side of the power supply because the case has a PSU cutout. But you don't have to do this because like buying a huge roll of vinyl wrap just for building one PC is not really worth it. Unless you are also a builder slash flipper, then I would say it's a pretty good investment to have because you can make that money back after one flip and you can use it for more than one build in the future. Finally, let's talk about the case. For this build, I used a Bitphoenix Nova Mesh SE MATX white case from Canada Computers for just 78 bucks after taxes. It features three ARGB fans pre-installed, which are all connected to a built-in hub with an extra ARGB pinout, which is perfect for connecting this build's ARGB CPU cooler. All in all, here's the price tally for episode 3 of Flipping Wednesday. It ended up costing me exactly 672 Canadian dollars, which is actually 500 USD exact. So that means I beat Zach and Elijah's $500 PC build guide in both aesthetics and price to performance. So tag them down below in the comment section to let them know that they got defeated by some kid in Canada. Anyways, jokes aside, let's get into the benchmarks.
With the performances out of the way, I listed this PC for sale on January 25th, 2024 for 900 Canadian dollars and ended up selling it on February 2nd for $850 cash. Which left me with a sweet $228 profit. Please leave a comment down below for any suggestions on what kind of PC parts I should use in my future videos. And don't forget to leave a like as well as hitting that subscribe button for a whole day of good luck. Click on the video that's up on the screen right now to see episode 2 of Flipping Wednesday.